Hello and good morning everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of my typewriting practice. And I must admit this is not something that I am incredibly consistent with, but I enjoy doing it every once in a while. And honestly, there is something about typing on a typewriter that accesses a different part of one's brain. And uh, just yesterday I was I had some things to sort out and so I sat down and I just typed out all of my thoughts and it was so helpful. It was so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cathartic. It felt like all the thoughts that were in my head went down from my arms into my fingertips and out into the typewriter and then they were gone. So those thoughts just like kind of, I was able to get that energy out on the typewriter. And I find that happens a lot when I type and not so much when I write in, in my journal with a pen. Um, I feel like when I write in my journal, those thoughts that I write down, I dwell on a lot more. They stay with me. Whereas with a typewriter, it actually feels like an exorcism of sorts. So anyways, a while ago, I got this college typewriting book and it has a whole bunch of lessons and I've been going through it rather slowly, to be honest. I just, every once in a while I'm inspired and I take it out and I do a lesson. And perhaps if I was a little bit more consistent, uh, it would be, be better. <laughs> I would be a better typist. I do find that when I am just typing thoughts and actual words and sentences, I'm, I'm really quite quick and I don't have to look at the keys at all. But when I have to intentionally type out things that aren't necessarily words, I, I get a little bit uh, befuddled or confused or I forget where my fingers are. So in this particular lesson, I'm typing mostly nonsense, R, F, U, J, E, D, N, J, and I'm saying those letters out loud as I type. And, and then here, I'm actually going back and realizing, first of all, that my fountain pen in this one is out of ink, so I had to get a different one. Um, but I'm circling all the mistakes that I've made because I was hoping to see, okay, where are the problems that keep arising? And so, yeah, I was just circling and I feel like I didn't make a whole lot of progress, <laughs> except I will say, I think that I started off typing slower and more intentionally than I did at the end. At the end, I was trying to type a little bit faster. So I think the mistakes kind of all ended up being the same. And perhaps if I stuck with the same exact tempo or timing the, the whole time, um, there would have been a noticeable improvement. I'm also trying to not look at all and just look on at the college typewriting book while I type. And that's really helpful. And then I also, what are some of the other thoughts that I have? Oh yeah. Strike the key. There's a certain way to strike the key. And once you get in the rhythm of it, uh, it just it feels so great. I really love typewriters. This typewriter, by the way, is an Olympia Deluxe. And this is like, this actually reminds me of my car. So I have a 1985 um, Mercedes 300 turbo diesel. And that thing is built like a tank. It's so heavy. It feels indestructible. It feels like it could go anywhere. It feels like it will drive forever. It's kind of a cockroach of a car, but it's still a luxury sedan. And at it, in its heyday, it was a really fancy car to have. And so it still has that. It still feels like you're driving around in a luxury vehicle. It's so comfortable and plush, but it doesn't feel fragile or breakable. And this typewriter, is the same. It's built like a tank. It's super heavy and solid. I feel like it's indestructible, but there's like this comfort and luxury about how these keys work. And it's just, yeah, it feels so, so good to type on. I've had this since, uh, let's see, at the beginning of this year, I don't know, maybe April. I can't remember to be honest. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next.